Right, so here we are. We are on week three of Shane's 12 week transformation. So what we thought we'd do today is have a little catch up, what we're getting on. Um, he's gonna do a little chat about how his progress is going, um, how he's finding it in the three weeks, talk about his food and everything. Um, and then what we're then gonna do is film is one of his circuit based workouts that we do down here. Make sure he's getting a good sweat on, so we're gonna push him really hard. And after that, we then go in for burger and chips. But the main question for him is, have you tracked for it? Absolutely. That's the main goal we're looking for, okay? Remember, if you track for it, you can have it, and that's the rule. How are you getting on? Yeah, really well. Yeah, yeah. it's all right. Yeah, a bit of a wobble the first week there. Yeah. The first couple of weeks, obviously, just getting used to the new diet stuff. Yeah. Um, that was the hardest bit, and I kind of, as you know, I kind of message saying I want to reduce too far, just being stupid, not understanding it's obviously a marathon, not a sprint, so I yeah. slowed it down. Increase the calories back up to where it should be. Done lots and lots of research on it as well as obviously talking to you. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do is trying to up the protein levels, reduce the carbohydrates and the fats. And it's working really well actually. The scales have really started to start to move now. What have you lost so far then? So I jumped on this morning and when I started with you I was 163.9 and I was 158.6 or something like that's that. It's good isn't it? That's getting there mate, yeah. And so. last week, was that a stupid question you asked me? What about a refeed? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was sort of reading about that sort yeah. of stuff. You know, what a stupid thing to do. Yeah, so ba basically, Shane asked me about should he do a refeed, right? Now I'm telling you, you do not need to do any extreme measures of like dieting at all or anything like that when all you need to do is get your body fat down, okay? So when he gets down to like low body fat levels, then we'd look at implementing a refeed, but you'd be looking at like the sub 15% body fat, all right? At the moment, don't need to worry about anything at all. No. All you need to worry about is tracking your calories in versus out and moderating them and making sure you're under. If you're under, the body fat's coming down. When the body fat comes down to enough, then we can look at refeed days, blah, 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 all that jazz. Yeah. For the moment, keep it basic, guys, okay? So if you're on your weight loss journey, you're on your, you're looking to like obviously get in the shape of your life, you need to focus on the main thing, which is calories in versus calories out. I say that in every single video. Do people listen? 80% of people don't listen. 20% of people do, 20% of people get the results. So remember that. Then, activity levels. So step-wise, what are you doing at the moment? Uh, um, obviously, minimum of 12. I'm hitting sort of 40, anywhere between 14 and 18,000 a day. Yeah. Um, and then obviously all the gym spinning fit, uh, hit. So yeah, just increase generally, really. Don't use the escalators, use the stairs, that sort of stuff. Yeah. Take the long route in. Definitely. Going out on my bike quite a lot, so. It's good. Yeah, it's good, mate. Remember, you gotta keep it sustainable, guys, okay? So it's all well and good saying doing 14,000 steps per day, but if you're not gonna get that every single day, don't bother setting yourself that target. Now, Shane's committed, and he's committed to the course, you know? but he wants to get the results. So that's why he's doing the 14,000, 18,000 steps to burn those extra calories. But if you know you can only manage 8,000 steps per day with your lifestyle, don't suddenly set yourself a 14,000 target like Shane has if you're not gonna to stick to it, okay? So it needs to be a daily thing, it needs to be sustainable, it needs to be achievable as well. If it's achievable, you do it, you get a thumbs up, you know, you get a gold badge, right? Don't you? You certainly you get, do, mate, yeah. You get a little thumbs up. Over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get a thumbs up. And after that, you feel good about yourself. But if I said to you, do 20,000 steps, I can, yeah, no, and you couldn't do it, no. Then you'd like shit, wouldn't you? Well, you would, yeah. You yeah. mentally, you suddenly start going, oh, this isn't really good. It's not going to work for me. So, yeah. You say it's got to be realistic, isn't it? You know, so. Definitely. Tie it into your lifestyle with your job and everything else. So, all of it's on par at the moment. We're whack, like bang on track. So, what we're now going to do is we're going to go video one of our workouts, give it a good go. You'll see what Shane gets up to in a circuit based class because you see it's one of his gym based sessions. Um, we're also going to see what we eat. So, in the evening, we're going to go have burger and chips and show that you can still achieve fat loss whilst eating the food you enjoy. But don't you do that every day. Though. You don't do that every day, exactly. <laughs> so, what have you done to account for the burger and chips? So, then? what have I done today? I just reduced my calorie intake today. So, yep. I'm, I've got 1800 left. Yeah. So I've not had much today. I have a protein shake um, and egg on toast this morning. So I just, that was it. Yeah. So I feel so far, so I've drunk loads of water to fill myself up. So happy yeah. days, really. And I wouldn't recommend doing that every single day, no. guys. But the thing is, we're looking at fat loss and we're looking about sustainability and you're going to want to go out and eat with your friends. You're not going to, you don't want to be the kind of kid that takes Tupperware out with them and has chicken, rice and broccoli whilst everyone else is tucking into a Big Mac and chips. So now and again, it's absolutely fine to account for it, to track for it. And if he did go over the day, what can you do? Well, just reduce tomorrow and the rest of the week. Oh, the hell. It's See a good aren't you? It's already, mate, I tell you. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> right, we'll check you out soon, guys, okay? We'll get a session done. Here we are, so we're in the class, and this is what we call Fit Club, right? So you've got Shane out. He's doing his mountain climbs already. He's loving it, isn't he, Shane? So we normally do it in like a circuit style format. So what we do is 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. We do four rounds at each station and move around. Today we've got six stations. We're doing things like mountain climbers. We're doing things like um, ball balls, chucking ball, um, balls against the wall. Um, we're doing press ups, etc. All the big body movements, getting a good sweat on, burning loads of calories. That's what it's all about, right? Oh, here we are. 
He starts doing some work as soon as the camera's on him. He's on his shape. Come on, let's go. What the hell are you resting for? Right, here we are, guys. Aftermath of the workout, innit? Shame in the recovery position. All good, mate. All good. All good? I just want a session then. Alright. Yeah? Yeah, good. What's your energy levels like at the moment? Yeah, alright, yeah. Bust me a bit low, low, lack on food or not? Um, no, I'm alright actually. You'll feel good later, won't you? I will feel really good. <laughs> Get in the bath, mate, I'll be. <laughs> what, are you a rubber ducky? I'm a rubber ducky. Change legs, guys! <laughs> so, I'm with Shaney Boy. Just put it down. Here we are. The Tracking King. And the, re and the Recharge King. And the Recharge King. <laughs> so where were you earlier, Char? Hey. Where were you earlier, mate? I was um, I was in the gym, wasn't I? Were you? Were you pumping? Oh, pumping what? <laughs> what? Pumping <laughs> 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 some dumbbells. <laughs> was it more than 30 seconds? Yeah, it's me. Oh. Oh. Just there dumbbells. he is, just in time. Mm. What'd you go for? I went for the burger with jalapenos. Oh. Little gherkin on top. Oh. A little gherkin. How was your session? Earlier. Oh, great, yeah, wonderful. Yeah, loved it. Who's better than Mil Char? When, um, Who's better in what sense? Mm. <laughs> He works hard. Charlie works oh, too hard. Yeah. What on all round? What in deltoid toy workouts? Well, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, and he's the thirty-second king, isn't he? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Every thirty seconds, he's on it again. Yeah. I love it. Thirty on, thirty off. Thirty on, thirty off. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Shane, if you're talking to that anyway, we'll catch you guys in bed. Boom! Look at that. Good bit of lighting. Right, we're in new body Weymouth. Changing gyms up. We thought we would. A bit different, isn't it? Oh, mate, yeah. Right, so we've got a lot of weights, a lot of machines, right? I'm going to film the workout today, see how we get on. And I'm going to do it as well, so Shaney Boy might even get a bit of me doing it, struggling. Let's see how we get on, eh? Hey? Right, so we've come to New Body. They've got God knows what equipment, right? But Shaney Boy is absolutely obsessed with the front delts. <laughs> Delt City. <laughs> Delt City. What do you he's, think, he's doing his front raises, 20 kilo plate. Right, so lately, ladies and gentlemen, are we on? We are We're on. on, aren't we? We've been hitting the front delts. Right. So important to hit the front delts, isn't it, Shaney? Absolutely, what mate. What we've been doing, like, Ooh, we, don't go, in the, oh. we, we oh. don't go to the gym lately without training the front delts. Oh. Hater hates that me and him, or me and Shaney, sorry, train our front delts. He doesn't do it enough, does he? He doesn't do it enough, that's why. He ain't got front delts like Siani <laughs> and Shaney boy. <laughs> right, so we love the shoulders like we said earlier on. So we are on. The standing lateral raise, and this is a machine, so we ain't got this in Bridport. This is why we come to Weymouth. The machine's here, a class. Let's give it a go, Shaney. So, you get on. He's towards the end of his set. He's doing an incline dumbbell now. Man. Blimey, he went to absolute failure there. As you can see, he failed on the last rep. So he's given everything he can, that's what we want. I wouldn't recommend going to failure every single time, all right? Especially if you're on your own, don't go to failure because you don't want to drop a weight in yourself. But today we're pushing the limits, aren't we? Absolutely, we're lifting some weight, and that's what we want. Good man. <laughs> Right, so what we just experienced, ladies and gentlemen, is we just went to failure. He nearly collapsed on the machine. You know he's giving it 100% when he's failing like that, like Dill. Right, so he's absolutely killing me already. We've been here, what, an hour and a half. And he said to me, wait in the room and I've got a surprise for you. I hope it's nice. I'm going to take the camera out with me and see what this wonderful surprise is. Oh, here we go, where is he then? There is he. Oh, you are having a laugh. Look at the side. Jesus Christ, look at this. Big tire flipper in the day. Jesus Christ, really? We're flipping this tiger. Jesus. Big, good bit of cardio in this chair.
absolutely killing it. That tyre flipping, it must be a 100 kilo tyre. It's absolutely mental. Working, hell of a hard. Shady, what are you doing? <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is a man who smashed it today. We didn't have a plan today, did we? We turned up at a new gym not knowing what the equipment was. And we just gave everything a bloody go, didn't we? So what do we hit? We hit um, we hit our shoulders to start with delts, because we love our delts. We love the delts, right? Then we hit chest, yep. bit of back, legs. legs, and now tire flipping, which is pretty much all body, but you're hitting your legs massively, because you start, you want to be losing your legs, not your back. And obviously your arms, and it's also cardio. It gets you out of breath, gets the heart rate up, and gets that fat burn, that's what we want, isn't it, mate? And we realise that Tyrone takes four rolls, I mean flips. Flips. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky one, isn't he? But yeah, how many calories do you reckon you burnt today, mate? The old girl's still going at 1163. It's not bad at all. Heart rate's 159. It's not bad at all, that's what we want. Good man. Now it's time to chill. What are you up to the weekend? Working. Working, he's got work. Good man, lovely weather for it anyway, so you've got to stay positive. Fantastic he's smashing weather. his training today. He's got himself down 157, isn't it? Good man. And what did you start last week? 159 and a half. 159 and a half. Look at that in a week. Bang on. Bang on. He keeps dropping the weight, guys. He's doing it. He's tracking his calories. He's training hard. He's not slacking. And you can see, look, you can see the difference already. He's absolutely smashing it. Burger and chips last night as well. Burger and chips last night as well. See, look, all in moderation, guys. Absolutely. Good man. Over and out from us. See you in a bit. There he is. Because I'm worth it. X is next. <laughs> well, <laughs> next series, X on the beach.